Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name is Mo Jax, and today I am facing a challenge. The challenge is how to make a visually interesting video when the topic of that video is a metal box. In the rarefied world of touring techno DJs, there is one item which is seemingly even more ubiquitous than the black tank top, the Rimowa case. As someone who appreciates quality cases, I do like them. They're stylish, clearly durable, and well-designed, but the pricing is completely eye-watering for us mere mortals. But what if there was a company who wanted to bring that kind of style and quality to DJs with slightly less deep pockets? Well, let me introduce you to Travel Heavy. They're a new British brand run by a guy called George who is a DJ himself and wanted to create a record box for his own use, which would be more affordable than something from a luxury luggage brand, but more stylish and durable than a record bag. This box, their first product, is inspired by the kind of cases used to transport military field tech, which gives it a very different aesthetic from a standard ATA-style flight case. It's constructed from raw aluminium with a non-marking finish, and the top corners are made from textured aluminium. This means that the case is both lightweight, it comes in at just 3.7 kilograms, and should be very strong. The interior closed cell foam is from Plastazote and is both anti-static and flame retardant. That contributes to the case's IP54 rating, meaning it's fully dust and splash proof, so your precious vinyl will be well protected. It holds up to 60 records alone and travel heavy reckon about 45 with carts and headphones in there as well. I'm sure that some DJs would like more space than that, but at that size they've managed to keep it within the hand baggage specs for most airlines. It's 35 by 22 by 37 centimeters. On the front you'll find the locks which are both easy to use and secure. They can accept padlocks with up to a 6mm shackle. The lid is not removable but instead is held on with a piano style hinge. On top there is a very comfortable handle, those can often be the downfall of many cases for me but this one is great. The only potential negative is that it's made of real leather which will make the case a non-starter for vegans. There's no such concerns with the side handles which are in the more traditional sprung flight case style. One final feature of note, the case has a QR code on the top. When you receive your case, you can fill out your details and register the box. Then should you ever lose it on your travels, if someone scans the code, then Travel Heavy will work to reunite you with your records. A really nice touch. All of this does come at a price a little above what you'll pay for a regular ATA style case, although with the price of materials these days, not that much more. The Travel Heavy case comes in at £260 sterling before duties and shipping if you're outside the UK. That's compared with around £180 for a similar sized stucco case from one of the main UK flight case manufacturers, so not a huge premium. Is it worth it? Well, there are a lot of things I really like about the Travel Heavy box. Firstly, it is a box, not a bag. This means it will take on that particular Tina from DJ Life, which I used to love with my old flight cases back in the day, with the ability to sticker it up and customise it, telling a story. In some respects, a box is less easy to transport than a bag, but it also offers a lot more protection than a bag, and sometimes one of those things will take priority for you over the other. In terms of the sizing, I think it's great, although some DJs might take against the way the main body of the box is so tall. It does make it a little harder to rifle through your records when it's full, as they don't stick out of the box at all, but I don't think this product is really aimed at quick mixing hip-hop DJs. It's more for house, techno and disco DJs who aren't in such a rush. But I'd definitely love to see a version with a similar build and aesthetic but in a 50-50 split. I just like that design in general. The only other thing I'm not too enamoured with is the straps which stop the lid from falling right back. In principle this is a nice idea but when stacking up records diagonally as I tend to do when performing they do get in the way a bit. But they'd be easy enough to remove I'm sure. Overall I just found using the travel heavy case a very nice experience. It's reassuringly strong but still lightweight, easy and comfortable to carry around and it does have a unique classy look which is clearly inspired by other brands but is by no stretch a copy of anything else. Definitely a niche product in the DJ world these days but one which will find a significant fan base I'm sure. So there you go, a look at the Travel Heavy Standard Flight Case, their first product and I have to say I am very impressed. You know what they've done here is bring some of that style, some of that panache that you get with those very high-end boutique brands and they bought it down to a much more affordable price point whilst keeping the quality level high. It is lightweight, which is what you want for traveling, but it does feel very strong and very sturdy. I've no doubt that if you get one of these, it will last you for years and years. So yeah, overall, thoroughly impressive. The main thing is for me, I don't play 12-inch vinyl sets anymore. That's a real rarity in my life these days, but I do play 45s. So I'd love to see a 7-inch version of this, maybe hold 100, 150, 45s. I think that'd be fantastic. Maybe a trolley as well, maybe a 50-50 split kind of box. 
I think the potential is there to really grow this line if the regular one does well for them. And so, yeah, I, I hope it does because I think they've come out of the gate with a great product here. In the comments this week, I'd love to hear from you guys and girls about the topic of vinyl. Yeah, lots of us started with vinyl, but are you still playing vinyl now? Are you taking it out to gigs and doing like regular or once in a blue moon kind of performances with real vinyl? Or is it something now that's just confined to your home or studio? Do let us know. Thank you for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.